his stone house in Pretoria was nominated as the best building in South Africa. And here, Johan continues his appreciation for simple corrugated and stone structures like those found on many local farms. Hi, Dad. Oh, it's so cold up there and it's so lovely and warm inside here. Let's go upstairs to the fireplace. Wow. wow, these stone walls are incredible. The design consists of four corrugated shed-like structures linked with these stone kraal walls. The living area is expansive and if it's winter outside, it feels like spring inside. The walls really keep the heat in. It's so homey and cosy in here. We love stone walls. These are the same stone that the old castle in Cape Town was built out of forms the backbone of the house, the base with the corrugated cheating boxes, sort of reminiscent of old farmhouse architecture. So I'm a princess in a castle today. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Being an architect yourself, how do you approach the daunting task of designing your own home? Well, this is the first house that I've designed from scratch for, for our family. You know, it's got these beautiful mountain views and that's actually the generator of everything on this, on, in the design. When we found the property we knew we wanted to be here. So the open plan was the obvious choice? We live very informally, so the this, this space lends itself to that. The space also opens up completely on a beautiful day. You sit on a veranda, the house is a veranda, and then it closes up again. It's double glazing. And with this fireplace in winter, it's perfect. So the house is very versatile, lending itself through both summer and winter. Yes, it's wonderful, especially with this hanging fireplace. We cuddle around it, you know, the dogs, us. Ideal place to have hot chocolate and, and all those things, you know, the winter things. Oh, hot chocolate sounds lovely. I'd love some. Great. Built with its back to the Cape winds and with water heated by solar panels, it's just the place to hibernate. Thank you. You've really managed to combine vintage furniture and decor with the modern house so well. Yes, we love old furniture. Some of these pieces are from grandmothers and it's been with us for years. So we, uh, you know, we had the dream of having all new furniture, but that never happened. So we ended up with all of this. With a kitchen this big, your family must love to entertain. I'm actually standing in my wife's domain here, so it's, it's a dangerous territory that I'm in here now. We love entertaining, we've got a lovely big table, wife's a good chef, we've got three kids and it's just a lovely family home. Also an artist, Johan began painting to pay for the renovations on their very first house. He tries to hold an exhibition every two years and makes time to paint, even taking his easel on holidays. I noticed every space in this house is covered with artwork and I see this is the place where it's all made. Yes, this is my creative space. In the beginning I, I specifically decided not to paint anything architectural. I paint the things around us, you know, the flowers, the, the landscapes, uh, people, things that inspire me, the beauty around us. What are some of your favourite art pieces in this house? Definitely the, the ones that I value most are the ones of my grandfather. He also used to paint and they're all hanging at the back there. Stuff that he painted over even in Rotterdam and when they immigrated to Kietmanshoop and that. Um, I've painted them at the back there. That's him sitting there with a, with a needle point work. That's my dad and that's me. Then we've got some lovely McGaw statues, little girls. We've got a beautiful piece of Shani van der Berg, the statues of Sabina Ferrocci. She, she lives in Carrara, she does beautiful work. Well, I see inspiration is not far off. This view is incredible. Yes, no, this is wonderful. You know, the, this whole window opens up into the valley. And just as, as spectacular as in, in my main bedroom. He calls it a farm townhouse, and it feels like it with all the original farm-style furniture on the inside and a constant awareness of the surrounding mountains outside. This master bedroom is breathtaking and this high ceiling, it just completes it. All the bedrooms are in these barn-like boxes, corrugated clad, and all the openings of design that you utilize the views on the mountains. The windows are specially molded against the backdrop. You see the mountain there, that determines the height. That's Stellenbosch Mountain over there. And this one is Simonsburg. It overlooks Simonsburg that way. And then on my son's room, it's got a beautiful picture window up the Jonkersoek Kloof. 
I noticed you have an outside bath and it looks like it has my name written all over it. I love outside bathrooms. We've got an inside one and an outside one, a little bit of an overkill. Showering on a day like today, raining with a hot water pouring over you, nothing beats that. And then obviously it's, it's, got, it's watering our garden as well. They grew their garden by pulling up the tennis court and their pond-like pool is solar heated. Johan, you would never guess that this house is in the middle of a suburb. Actually, when you stand here, you get the whole spirit of the place. You've got the felt of the bush coming in. It's natural um, feinbos grass felt coming in from the nature reserve. And we just wanted the house to float in this landscape. On the other side, it's more cultivated. There we've got a, a working vegetable garden. Well, I'm sure those vegetables make amazing toppings when you're making pizza over there. We actually use it quite a lot, but we've also got the, this hearth on the veranda and that doubles up. It's a fireplace and a braai. That works very well, so in winter evenings you can sit here around the fire overlooking the felt. I love old stoops, front verandas and back verandas, but I don't like the little pillars. So I've played a little bit here, I don't know if you've, you've seen. These are massive cantilevers. This is a four meter cantilever without any support on the roof. So it's all tied back with, with secret stuff to hold it up. Your family sure knows how to entertain. Yeah, we love it, yeah. Johan, yeah, thank you so much for showing me your house today. It is so beautiful and I can really see the love and passion you put into it. And thank you for our chocolate. It was so <laughs> incredible. Very nice having you here. <laughs> Only a pleasure.